start with this one. Yeah. So this is what I was talking about. When you're wearing fedoras or something like this, it's really hard to pull off. So I would rather go with like a ball cap if you're going for workwear and then pants, I would fix it with uh, blue denim or even light blue denim. Probably wouldn't go with black jeans, I feel like, because your shoes are black and the top's also black. When you have t-shirts that have a neck all the way up here, it kind of gives a stuffy look. And for workwear, you want to look tough. You want to look relaxed. That's pretty much it. And then I really like how unique his style is. He's been on my channel for over two years, I feel like. He's been here for a long, long time. So I know how he styles and I know how unique his style is. It's very nice. Like the overall coherence, as I said, is pretty much spot on. There's nothing that I would personally fix. And this barcode guy, like I don't know who he is, I don't know what to call him, but this barcode guy is one of the best dressers on my channel. Is there anything that you can give feedback on? I gotta learn from this guy. He's got a lot of detail. He's got patterns over here, and then he's matching patterns with patterns. Oh, this is just talented. I don't think anyone can learn how to dress like him. It's just talent necklace layering and you see how the neckline like it's all the way down here that changes the entire mood so that you got to take notes from him i also love the striped pants so if he were to go with maybe just plain pants or maybe black denim black slacks this look wouldn't be like this that would kind of make it a bit subtle toned down it wouldn't be bad but it this is just like wow and that outfit would be whoa you, you see the difference yeah, but this guy is honestly amazing. And then, oh yeah, this was one of my favorite and that's why I use it as thumbnail. This outfit, just overall, like the color scheme and also outfit is maybe like 60 to 70% and then the Photoshop and photo editing is the 30%. And he oversaturated the orange and then the sky is perfect. Everything's like really saturated and other people could have the same outfit, but it's not going to be the same picture and also the pose. I like that. I should use that. But yeah, Timberlands, wide pants, orange Nike sweats, and then he's layering like a long sleeve, like black long sleeve, and then a cap, and of course, AirPod Max. Especially for winter, I feel like Timberlands go very well with wide pants. It just has a really relaxed feel, and yeah, this, he is like also kind of like the same level as Jason. They're, they're both really good dressers. GGJ, yes. Yoji Beanie, Raph Simmons, Berserker, LS. I would assume it's these, right? Patagonia Fleece and then Supreme Grip. Wow, this guy's dressed in designer. Not not designer, but dressed in, dressed in a lot of expensive stuff. Patagonia. Uh, what I feel about this outfit is that the pants are super unique. However, top pieces are not too, like it doesn't compensate for the pants. If I were to go with these pants, I would rather go to like, if you're on a budget, I feel like you're not on a budget, but if you are on a budget, go to a thrift store and buy something that's like really worn out or it has a lot of graphics, something that's vibrant or something that's really flashy to catch people's eyes. Cause the pants have a really flashy detail. And then if you go to the top, it's, it's really subtle. I guess Supreme and you got the necklaces and stuff, but still the overall look, the Patagonia fleece just keeps everything in, in a circle. And then you have this like super flashy pants and that, that I feel like you, if once you change the top, maybe like Yoji's hoodie or CDG, something like that, that would be a really nice match. That's about it. And then Cobb also going with another unique outfit. This is, this is really interesting. I want to zoom in. It has a really interesting silhouette because the top is like, the, it has a really nice A taper. You see, like at the bottom is kind of puffy. And then the top, two zippers here, shirt, and then I feel like this is from a semiaki. It has to be. Unless it's like somewhere from like Taobao or AliExpress, it has to be either designer or something super cheap. This is a really interesting and nice outfit. And then that's my outfit. This is when I, well, I'm still really interested in Droll de Monsoul, Mushu. But yeah, I I match it with tan, tan, and then it has a hint of orange, orangish yellow. So yeah, yellow, 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 yellow. 
And then inside, I managed to wear the sweat because I wanted to keep things simple. I, if I have too much of like vibrant stuff going on inside, I don't feel comfortable, so to say. Hi Tony, how do you be subtle but still be different? There are a lot of ways. You can either use jewelry, and even if you stay subtle, you can have one or two accent pieces. But for example, I feel like this is really subtle. Like if you see this, if you see this outfit just walking by, would you be like, whoa, that guy's so stylish. You wouldn't be like that. And that's not what I go for. That's not what I aspire. I, I like to be just like you said, like subtle, but kind of different. Like this is pretty subtle. You'll be like, oh yeah, he's wearing a jacket. He's wearing pants, like he's wearing, wearing a hat. Also, you wouldn't see this in a lot of people's outfits. So that would be the take for me. I would go for maybe accessories like caps, jewelries, or play around with accent colors. Oh, this was one of the outfits that I love. Supreme beanie, Uniqlo Jill Sander parka, polo tie-in shirt, polar skate co jeans, and then ALD 993. This is also an outfit that I really liked. You know, I mentioned in the previous videos, I mentioned hybrid outfit. This is a, a really nice example of a hybrid outfit because he's matching like shirt, dress shirt, button down shirt. See, it's a button down polo shirt with a polo tie, but it's also got some detail. And then the parka is really nice. It's got the tech wear vibe and the keychain. This is like kind of like the accent. Like he's got a lot of nice accents that go really well with the outfit. And the glasses, it fits the vibe because the button down shirt and then the tie, it fits these type of round glasses. Supreme beanie goes all well with the jacket. And then black jeans, New Balance. ALD New Balance looks pretty nice, but the jeans fit. I feel like this is what really really made the outfit like other other things i feel like a lot of people can mimic but i really love the fit of these jeans it made this little twirl here and that's what i mean by outfit is like 60 percent, and the photo itself is like 40 percent. then that 100 percent becomes your fit pick uh and then and then overall a bright outfit with nice sneakers cream slacks white sneakers, striped shirt, and then knitwear vest. And I see a lot of cable knits. When you look at magazines for 2023, like next year season, there's a lot of cable knits. So if you are still in cold weather, I definitely recommend checking it out. And yeah, this is overall a really nice outfit for a bright outfit, because going for these type of accent vest is really hard, but he pulled it off very nicely. So this, this was his favorite outfit. And I think this bag is from Chloe. And then shoes, I'm not sure. Shoes, I'm not sure. And nice, nice length for the pants. If you were to go with really short pants for these type of outfits, that wouldn't, that wouldn't complete the look. You gotta have like really loose pants and then really nice pink coat. This is a very nice outfit. I love the vibe. I love the smile and beanie and I know this is super boring, how can I improve? Oh, this is a really nice example of what you can improve on an outfit. I feel like if it was a bit wider, it would be nice because it seems like your legs are very skinny. So I would go with wider pants just so that it can somewhat compensate for the silhouette. If you have more of a deeper, again, deeper U-neck t-shirt and then maybe wear some necklaces, have some jewelry here and yeah, that would also compensate for the coat. The reason why this overall look is boring is because there's nothing going on, right? There's nothing too special. There's no accent. There's no coherence, so to say. So you got to pick like one of it. You got to have a lot of things going on or you can have an accent or you can have like coherence. But this is coherent in the sense that there's nothing in the outfit. So probably like even if you were a trench coat that would be better than a single breasted coat because single breasted coat can get really boring oh this looks nice so last time <laughs> this is a really good example because last time he had like super flashy all tear down pants and when you change it to well, just regular jeans it's so much better and the fur coat is really nice i feel like that would be pretty nice as well Maybe the Yoji beanie that he weared in the previous outfit. That would be pretty nice. 
Pants just came in. I tried something new. What do you guys think? Try to ignore my phone's terrible phone uh, photo quality. So what I would improve here is the amount of shirt that's sticking out. Like the pants, I feel like is fine. Honestly, burgundy pants. It's nice to have one in your closet and it's a pretty standard fit. So nothing to change about it. The shoes look pretty nice with the burgundy pants, but the amount of shirt sticking out, I feel like the tops a bit too cropped. I would maybe have it all the way down here. For this type of outfit, I would go for a brighter top. Like if, if your coat was brighter, you see like when the coat's bright, let's say this entire part is all whitish, like somewhat bright color. That's going to be so much better. So I would definitely recommend having like a white trench coat, white something. Marishi pants, coat, a lot of rings. Yeah, this is one of the benefits of having a setup. You see, like just wearing this entire setup looks really nice. There's nothing that you can judge because it's the designer's intention itself, right? And then you just wear, you just change the top and every time it becomes a different outfit. Four shoes, Chelsea, yeah, looks pretty nice. However, uh, I feel like with this outfit, it might be better to go with sneakers. You would probably have to try it on for yourself. But honestly, like judging by just the looks, I would go for sneakers to somewhat have a casual mood. I feel like that might be a nice choice. All right, so thanks everyone for joining and I will be ending the stream right now. I wish you all the best for New Year's and yeah, thank you all for submitting the outfits. See you in my other videos.